public sector workers have started receiving an improved United States dollar salary, while the local currency portion of their pay has now been indexed to the prevailing official exchange rate in a development expected to strengthen civil servants' purchasing power. Indexing of the Zimdollar portion of the salaries to the prevailing exchange rate will ensure that their buying power is insulated against movements in the exchange rate. In addition, the U.S. dollar increment is expected to restore the value of government workers' pay following January's conversion of COVID-19 allowances into taxable salaries. In recent months, civil servants' pay had been eroded by inflation, and the latest adjustment is expected to sustainably restore their purchasing power. Some civil servants started receiving the new pay, whose flat U.S. dollar component is now pegged at 320 U.S. dollars up from 300 US dollars on Friday. The latest salary adjustment was the result of a provisional agreement struck between the government and representatives of public sector workers under the National Joint Negotiating Council and JNC held on Thursday. The NJNC is expected to meet again in April to chart the way forward. Ministry of Public Service, Labor and Social Welfare Permanent Secretary Mr. Simon Masenga on Friday confirmed the salary adjustment saying a formal notice will be issued this week. I have been advised by the government's chief negotiator in the wage negotiations, Mr. Nobert Machinjack, that they have made great progress with the employees. And I understand the payments have started. He said, I am not yet well updated with the contents of the document, but we will give a comprehensive position once we have all the details. Speaking to the Sunday Mail yesterday, Mr. Machinjack said, Yes, we had a meeting and we agreed on something, but I am not in a position to share the contents of the outcomes from the meeting. In a separate interview, Zimbabwe Confederation of Public Sector Trade Unions President Mrs. Cecilia Alexander commended the government for making the adjustments. We had a fruitful meeting with the employer. Indexation of the local currency component to the prevailing exchange rate is a testimony that the government is now committed to keeping the value of the worker's salary. On top of that, a raise to 320 US dollars is a positive move towards what we want. She said, however, from what we agreed, we will be sitting soon so that we iron out what is left out because our position is to ensure that the employer raises the salary to afford the worker a decent lifestyle. Affording all the basics. The Civil Servants Umbrella Union, she said, was pushing for the latest adjustment to be backdated to January this year. We want to push for a backdated payment to January 1, 2024 so that the employees recover what was lost for the past months due to inflation. For now, the employer cited that it is still the start of the year and revenues are still low but promised to improve the salaries in line with our requests. Added Mrs. Alexander. A civil servant, Mr. Jubilant Massengees, applauded the government. It has always been our plea for the government to peg our salaries in U.S. dollars to hedge against inflation. I think they have made a good improvement. However, we were expecting to have our salaries backdated because the local currency component was eroded months back. He said, The government introduced a 75 U.S. dollars COVID-19 allowance in 2020 and has progressively increased it to 300 U.S. dollars. But since it was an allowance, it was exempted from being taxed. In January, this was reviewed and the allowances became part of the pensionable salary, as the improvement of the welfare of workers has remained a top priority. A 15-member team was appointed, with the mandate to negotiate at the NJNC for two years with effect from January 1st this year.